Long ago, on a bitter, cold evening, there was a group of riders sitting by the riverside. Beside them was an old man who was waiting for a ride to get across the river. Old man's wait seemed endless, and his body became numb from the cold winds. Soon, one by one, riders started to get up and go across the river. Anxiously, the old man watched as several horsemen rounded the bend. He let the first one pass without any effort to get his attention, and then another passed. Finally, the last rider spotted the old man. As this one drew near, an old man said, Sir, would you mind giving this old man a ride to the other side? There doesn't appear to be a passageway by foot. Rider replied, Sure thing, hop aboard. Ryder saw that the old man's body was too stiff because of the cold to move and get on horse, so he dismounted and helped the old man onto horse. Ryder didn't take the old man just across the river but to his destination, which was a few miles away. As they were near an old man's cottage, Ryder inquired, Sir, I noticed that you let several other riders pass by without making an effort to secure a ride. In such bitter weather, why would you wait and not ask any other rider? I was the last one to leave. What if I had refused and left you there? In the meantime, they reached their destination. Old man lowered himself slowly down from the horse and looked straight into the rider's eyes and replied, I have been around for some time. I reckon I know people pretty well. I looked into the eyes of other riders and immediately saw that they were not concerned for my situation. It would have been useless to ask them for a ride. But when I looked into your eyes, kindness and compassion were evident. I knew then and there that your gentle spirit would not refuse and would give me assistance in my time of need. Those words touched the rider deeply, and he replied, Sir, I am most grateful for what you have said. May I never get too busy in my own affairs that I fail to respond to the needs of others with kindness and compassion.